Here's some fun facts. Your body is designed to literally create, to ferment seven to 10 liters of hydrogen each day. Now, why would your body, or why would the bodies that work the best on the planet create seven to 10 liters of hydrogen inside of itself through a fermentation process? Because it takes care of the hose and the O's. Now, what do I mean by that? H, <laughs> whatever, two O, when one of the H's leaves, one of the hydrogens leave, it leaves a hydroxy molecule, which is very unstable and creates incredible inflammation in the body. So when H leaves the H2O, it leaves a OH negative, or I like to flip it to call it a negative HO or a negative HO. So how do you pay those hoes? By adding hydrogen back to the system. So when your body ferments its own, you know, through through the different foods that we eat, um, and hopefully we have a very fiber rich uh, diet, um, we burp hydrogen when we're healthy. So on the way of burping, it goes molecular, it goes into the bloodstream and immediately works to pay the negative hose. Because H2, molecular hydrogen comes in H2s, all right? When it sees a negative hoe, it splits. It takes care of two negative hoes. You pay them off. And then what happens is hydration happens for wherever the cell is that lost that comes back. So you have a restructuring, you have a, which is like super important too. So what's it all about? Paying those negative hoes in your body. <laughs> Now, how do we get those negative hoes? Just metabolic processes happen all the time. Stress happens all the time. Our body is always metabolically throwing out one hydrogen every so often, and that causes inflammation. By eating improperly causes a lot of oxidative stress, causes these, these uh, ROS, they call it. So hopefully that explains a little bit more. So what we do is we purify water we structure that water in a way that our bodies can utilize it right away. When you ingest watermelon water, you know, people say, oh man, I drank that watermelon water and what happened? <laughs> well, I peed a lot. Well, what happened is your body goes, hey, I can utilize this structured water. And then it pushes out all the other parts of the water that isn't structured in the body. So it looks like a diuretic and in fact, it's not. Basically, you're just pushing out the bad water and you're keeping the good water, all right? So we want to purify the water. We want to make sure the water doesn't have heavy metals in it. It doesn't have gross things in it. It doesn't have microplastic. It doesn't have volatile organic compounds in it. It doesn't have the chloramides. Um, that's another way that they, quote, you know, um, purify things, all right? So um, by using chlorine once a month. If you ever really smell a lot of chlorine in your water, your tap water, like, whoa, or you bathe in it, mm, not good at all. So we purify that. We structure it, all right? Make it into these wonderful structures that the body can do. It is close to what we call easy water. We'll talk about that another time as much, all right, a as possible. And then we add, we add minerals to that water because minerals are so, I mean, they're imperative, all right? And if you don't have the right minerals, then your body holds on to heavy metals, all right? The bad minerals, not good, not good, all right? And then the other thing that it does is we add the hydrogen laden through a process that the body uses, through a fermentation process, actually, that actually happens in a cylinder. And what occurs is you now ingest, and within a minute, the body does better. So when I'm working with patients who are Alzheimer's, they literally think better after their first dose of hydrogen-laden water. It's remarkable. So, meandered a bit, but yet right on purpose. Talk to you soon. This is Doc David Finsterly, and we're here talking about purified, structured, hydrogen-laden, mineralized water.